Today, I'm pleased to announce that Adobe has launched the 2017 edition of Captivate. I've prepared a series of videos on my YouTube channel to give you an introduction as to what's new. In this video, I'll show you the first of several new enhancements to advanced actions. So let's get started. So on my screen right now, I have Captivate 9. And back in the earlier versions of Captivate, there were essentially two different types of advanced actions that you could could use in an e-learning course such as this one here. You could use what are known as standard actions or standard advanced actions. And that is simply a list of all your advanced actions in the order that they're going to be run. Now in this project, I happen to use a standard advanced action for my go to next slide functionality. Normally I would just go to next slide, but in this particular instance, I had to use an advanced action because every time I wanted to go to the next slide, I wanted to do two other things as well. I needed to hide the table of contents group and also assign um, a tracking variable with a value of zero to remember that the table of contents in this case is closed. So here's the problem. If I needed to upgrade this uh, standard action type and include a conditional action, which is the other type of advanced action that's available, I'd have to create a whole new advanced action. Now, while that may not seem like a big deal because I could just simply select all of these line items and copy them and then create a new advanced action that's a conditional action like so, and then simply paste all those items in and then just add my condition that I need up top. You know, if, if variable equals one, then do this. Otherwise, do the else statements down here, for example. The problem is, is I'd have to save this as a whole new advanced action. Now that's not a big deal, it's certainly possible, but now I would need to go through my entire e-learning project and find every reference to the advanced action go to next slide and then point those to the updated new advanced action. That could take hours. It certainly would be inconvenient. In Captivate 2017, they've improved this process considerably. So here's the very same project in Captivate 2017. And here's my execute advanced actions, go to next slide, one of many references to the very same advanced action. And what I have now is this new option called conditional tab. So this is a standard advanced action. If I wanted to convert this to a conditional advanced action and add some sort of condition and possibly a set of else statements as well, all I need to do is check off this conditional tab, add my conditions here, and possibly or optionally add my else statements there. And then I just update the action and I no longer need to worry about which buttons are pointing to the previous advanced action because I've literally saved a conditional tab or a conditional set of actions right over, over top of the standard actions that existed before. So a really great uh, enhancement to Adobe Captivate. Uh, I liken it to uh, coming to a fork in the road and, uh, and not having to make a choice whether you turn left or right. You can pick either one and change later if you decide to, to go down a different path. So this is a, a real nice addition to Captivate 2017. A simple addition, but it, it can literally mean hours and hours of work that now will be saved. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.